it has come to my attention that once again a tutorial is needed. Uh, I will be showing you how today you can get 100k uh, with in-game matchmaking on the weekly mission that is the communion. Now it's pretty simple all you need to do is kill everything before you kill bosses and not wipe. Uh, time is not as strict as the corrupted strike but it's still pretty close. You've got about five minutes of leeway. Um, for loadouts I'd recommend something with good ad clear, good boss damage but you're not going to be using it for bosses, you're actually going to be using your supers for the champions um, and you know, a rocket or a linear when grenade launchers are available again in heavy slot then that would probably be a good choice use something that is good synergy and good survivability so I've got my arc resists on, my arc and solar resists, it's cabal so you're going to be, get, you're going to be taking arc and solar damage, that would be a good choice to go with uh, good recovery and good resistance in general is something to work something that's worth going for um, and just know your pathing so I'll show you the pathing where to go as well as the enemies kill and I am leaving because I've joined an in progress which means I'm basically fucked if you're like me and you're in a time zone where not too many people in your country play um, and all your friends are in other countries or other time zones and this is helpful. You know, this is the sort of thing you need. And I think we're going to join another in progress one which is going to be fucking great. be nice if we could have an option where we join in progress or fresh it would be nice if we could have that bungee <laughs> oh but it looks like not because I see the other ships that means it's gonna be a fresh run which is good for me okay first step use your sparrow this will take you past these two areas and then you'll hop off how will communing with darkness help us understand the voices we heard when we found Sagira's shell? Reach the statue at the heart of the pyramid. That's why I'm using... Trinity. So, kill everything quick. And... For some reason, the game counts this as a special weapon. And it blinds enemies that are nearby that get hit by it if you had that perk on. Which uh, is very nice, makes Trinity Ghoul even more powerful, which is awesome. Of course, keep your, uh, your supers up and keep your heavy up. Here's our first champion. I guess this means the Empress won't mind us fighting our way in. To get close. There we go. Really looking forward to making this a craftable weapon. That's something to look out for is uh, there's quite a few incinerators in this. Um, and you just want to be careful when you kill them that you're not going to instantly die. So we've got our first Goliath tank. Pretty easy to kill on the uh, non-end game levels of difficulty. Of course, if you've uh, you've done the campaign before, you, you know what to expect. And if you've done the legendary campaign, then you you basically know what to expect because this is basically a slightly easier version than that, slightly more difficult version of the normal mode of the campaign. My super team is killing the guys. However, that was a little bit of a mistake. You want to not kill that secondary life tank until you kill every single enemy. 
Now, see the spot you're going to be going up is right in front of that. So to save time, just stand straight, straight there. Ignore this bit as we're going this way. This will close off. Wait for that to close off. Now, there's a few jumping puzzles where it could be kind of easy to die or fall off. Just pay attention. Make sure you've got something, a jump that you're comfortable with. Something that can give you good height and distance. So I would not recommend Blink unless you are a master at Blink. You can skip this platform. Take these guys out. This guy, this bridge will come through. Wait for it to be close enough and then you can jump. This guy is tight and he can jump a bit further than me. Jump straight into here, kill everything. We're gonna get another champion or two in here. I don't remember if it's one or two. You can stand next to here when killing those guys so you can disable the jammer quicker if you want to. Just get a little extra few seconds on your timer. Do you have 20 minutes to do this before you get the darkness envelops you debuff? Where your points slowly get removed. Enemies to look out for apart from champions will be the uh, sword guys, I forgot their name. You will probably know what I'm talking about. Here's a barrier. So this is where I'm gonna pop my super. And he's dead, awesome. You'll see the barriers give you quite a few points. And that was a pretty good clear, very nice and quick. Of course with arc, you now do have speed as well. Those guys, the gladiators, you wanna look out for them because they can sneak up on you, do a decent amount of damage. There's a yellow bar and some orange bars here. Nothing too difficult. This spot opens. We know where to go. Don't need to be a dick about it. You said the pyramid recognizes something in this Paris. But what? Right. Using game communication as well. If you've uh, got that available, if you have a microphone. But I don't believe uh, either of these guys are in team chat, so they probably will not hit me. Uh, kill this guy. With max resilience, he isn't going to kill you. On legendary difficulty, he will kill you. <laughs> uh, so, be careful. If you solo legendary campaign, he's, uh, he's going to hurt. Alright, we're going to have a champion in here, and we're going to have some gladiators to deal with in here as well. Uh, you want to stand on these upper platforms here. Try and avoid going to the bottom because the gladiators will uh, overwhelm you. But if you remember the spawns, you should be okay. And try not to miss every second shot like I've just done. Pretty simple. Is. Oh, I'm not soloing this anymore. Okay, there's another unstoppable champion. He's heavy on him. I'm out of shotguns, so I'm going to use heavy on these gladiators. Not get flinched out of it too hard. Try not to get flinched out of getting some headshots there. Make sure to revive your teammates always. That guy's not very good at jumping by the looks of it. Like I said, use something that you're comfortable with. Okay. Second uh, rally goes here. We're going to be killing everything before we focus on the boss. There's going to be a champion at each damage phase. Actually, there might be one extra. Uh, and you want to just look out for those. There's going to be two... Overloads and one barrier. That barrier, of course, is the one to be more concerned about. So we're going to have an 
unstoppable here, and we're gonna have our boss. I was not loaded, rip. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Okay, this guy's got the right idea. You wanna focus on all the ads before you go down and disable the boss's shields. Otherwise, you are not gonna be getting that 100k and getting that pinnacle. Go. There will be enemies spawning down there, one champion spawns down there. Here's our second unstoppable. So there's actually four here, four champions here, so three unstoppables and one barrier. Or there's two unstoppables and one barrier. If one spawns down there, then it's four. Here comes some scions at the top. Kill those so they don't boot you off. Another good reason to go for the bow. So we need to kill these guys before we move on to the next damage phase. So these are some incinerators to look out for. Here's that barrier.